We're here at the South Finger Reed Bed at Slimbridge today because this week we've just started the annual water vole survey. We do this every year to check on the health of the population of water voles here on the reserve because this is a very important place for them. Water voles are endangered nationally principally because of the invasive mink population and loss of habitat. The presence of a water vole population shows that we have a healthy and biodiverse wetland system. This then attracts other species to the wetland, such as grey heron, great white egret and bittern, for whom the water voles are an important food source. During the survey, we'll be surveying over 20 kilometres of lake shores, river banks and ditches, looking for signs of habitation by water voles. This year, the survey is being led by our full-time intern, Eva Pryor, who will now talk to you about the signs we'll be looking for. So during the waterfall survey, we are looking for active signs of waterfall presence. One of the main ones is the signs of latrines. We've got a little sample here. The waterfall latrines are about the size of a tic tac and they've got quite a distinctive colour, like a dark greeny brown colour. So if you see any fresh latrines, then it's pretty sure that there are active waterfalls around that area. Some of the other signs you can see are feeding signs. So waterfalls generally cut their vegetation at a 45 degree angle, which you can see across here. If you find a selection of vegetation in an area and you can see that they're cut at 45 degree angles, then that will be a little waterfall collection of food that they are keeping for when they get hungry. So some of the other field signs we'll be looking out for are runs and burrows. A burrow is a hole in the side of a bank and it's around about the size of a lid of a Pringle tube. You can probably see there's like a little bit of like cut grass on it. So that's a sign that you know that this is an active burrow. We also look out for runs, which usually you're coming up from the bank, just like a little path inside the vegetation. So water voles will run up from the water across the bank. Whereas if you see other runs that coming down from the bank, that could be signs of a rat or a bank vole. So this, including the other signs of feeding signs in a tree, you can definitely say that there is water vole along that bank. So if you're coming down to Slimbridge and you'd like to see some water voles, there have been some known sightings recently down at the Kingfisher Hide, as well as the Canoe Safari is quite a good place for you to spot them. And there's little banks in the Canoe Safari that you can stop and have a little look around and see if you can see any of the sightings that I've spotted today.